Yes guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. You're probably thinking Tim we've had enough of William's performance. Trust me you haven't because we are bringing something special to you guys. In here lies obviously the S55, same thing you'll find on mine that Mark is obviously working on fitting the meth kit. This is slightly different and we obviously have the owner Jack who works at William's performance to give us more information on this piece and we're going to be asking the question, do I go eventually? single turbo or do we just go hybrid turbos or do we go for just some standard reconditioned um, turbos with the upgraded thrust bearing to stop the leaking and the reason why the oem ones fell so this thing is a beast and like i said make sure you follow obviously williams and jack on instagram to see more behind the scenes but yeah this is definitely a beast let's chat to jack so jack we meet again mate here we are. <laughs> <laughs> We've just obviously finished doing a video on stage one, stage two, stage three, and obviously stage four. Yeah. So I feel like it was only right that we use your car yeah. as an example to talk about potential stage four for mine. So yeah, yeah. there's no secret that I like to keep things simple. Yeah. However, this is rather simple apparently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even though it doesn't look it. Yeah, yeah. But the good thing about obviously yourself is you ran twins as well, which is what my mind is telling me to do. Yeah. What were the twins like for you? Because did you go to stage two with this or did you just go uh, straight? Uh, I had the car about a week and we went stage one. Cheese and bread. Uh, what was your car before this then? Uh, Golf R. Okay, uh, okay. So, you, Golf R. so you know you can handle the power. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, okay. Um, so yeah, we went stage one and obviously you know what happens. We get bored with the mm -hmm. power and uh, I was thinking stage two, do I do I go hybrids? And eventually I went for some Lickos, hybrid okay. turbos, uh, Lickos 700s. Yep. Um, and we used those for about a year. Okay. Um, and uh, behind us, a uh, well-known lad, uh, yep. Mac, Max Hendel. Uh, Max. Shout out to Max. Yep, come on. Um, he visited one day. Uh, he was getting some work done on his brother's car and obviously I knew Max had the single turbo. I was like, Max, I need a go of this car. Give me a go of this. <laughs> he handed us the keys, and to be honest, I was sold after driving. The rest it, was, was like, history, and the then we ended up here. <laughs> I, had, I had the turbos on the car ready to put back in when I had the engine out, and I was like, pull them off. It's time for a, a single really? turbo kit. Um, at the time, Stu's M4 was with Max at Symphonetic. Okay. Uh, that's who makes us take the turbo kit. Yes. Um, so he actually made me a bottom mount kit on, on his car. I was going to say, because on one of them, I believe it is this one, yeah, right? Yeah. It's on the top. That's the top mount. So yours table, yeah. is, is hidden away down there. Is yeah, there going to be any difference in regards to power or um, heat or anything? I'm going to say power-wise power should be about the same. Okay. I think this may come on boost a little bit sooner with the exhaust. Uh, of course he'd say being that. a little bit shorter. It's car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it sounds slightly different. The longer runners on the exhaust. But. Okay, and uh, guys, there's no secret. I haven't done modified cars in quite some time, but obviously with Jack being friend, family, colleague, I thought, you know what, we're probably going to take a seat in the car and yeah. go out. So guys, I'm going to try and get some clips anyway. But more importantly, I just want to know the question like, this over the twins, how did driving it? Is it different driving it? Or? Um, at, at low speeds, you, you, you would probably wouldn't notice it. Okay. It's, it's, it the, the car behaves, behaves nicely. Mm -hmm. it's, it drives fairly normal. Um, Power-wise, mm -hmm. when, when you want to squeeze the throttle, you, you, you notice the lag. Um, okay. Obviously, you'll know driving the twin two. Yeah. The power's always there. Third, oh, okay. fourth gear, it's always there. It just goes. Whereas this, you want to drop it down a gear, mm -hmm. 4,000 revs, that's when the turbo really starts to work. And talking of gears, this is also the f a manual? Yeah, it's and a manual And could it car. be the first F80 yep, I believe, single turbo? Yeah, I believe it's the first in the UK. UK. Possibly Europe, I don't want to put that claim out there. Cheese but um, and bread. The first F80 M3 on a single turbo with a, with a manual box. Yeah. Manual gearbox. And have you driven one with a DCT? Yeah, we've driven, uh, we've driven Hendo's oh, yes. car with Hendo's a DCT, DCT. And, uh, Abe's car as well. He also runs a, a top mount on a DCT. Uh, they've got the blue, blue M3, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. Abe's is okay. a blue M3. Yeah. He, I have seen He runs that. a big Zona turbo on his, slightly different to ours, again, a top mount. Okay. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a DCT as well. And in regards to the manual, the, the, how, the, how the power comes in, it's just easier to drive, you yeah, say? Yeah, I, I think it's a lot nicer to drive. The, obviously, you control the gear change, and, mm -hmm. and these the, the gear runs a lot longer than it is in the DCT car. I I'd get say you. it's geared down one, so your third gear in a DCT is like my second gear in the, in the manual. So are you practically saying that I should just go hybrid turbos on mine because uh, I've got a DCT, so thank you. Yeah, he, yeah. It's sealed. <laughs> hybrid turbos for the win. Have a look down here because... 
even the intake has to change, right? Because yeah, your intakes, yeah. is it, does it have to be a front mount, obviously, um, now? Or? It's, just, it's just mainly for space. I mean, we could have probably had the air filter somewhat in that area and made, made a pipe for it. But okay. for me, it was just about getting the fresh air in the fresh front Fresh air and, through the front, and, definitely. Uh, trying to prevent as much heat soak as possible, really. Yeah, and talking about prevention, with something like this, like with this car, it's very easy for me to do. Oil filter plugs, not too bad a job. Yep. Does maintenance change when you have a single turbo? Is it just still um, once a year service every 12,000 miles? Yeah, I, I'm a strong believer of like changing your oil frequently anyway, regardless, okay. of, regardless of the power level. But yeah, as you start to go up the power, I would say change your oil a little sooner. Okay. Uh, it's going to get a little bit hotter in the engine bay. So Beautiful. Maybe, maybe reduce your, your oil changes slightly. But other than that, it's, it's actually a lot more simple to work on. There's obviously one less turbo. Um, one less lot of oil lines and cooler yeah. lines, so <laughs> and only one exhaust as well. So <laughs> wicked turbo wise, we're running a G thirty five ten fifty, same as Joe's car. What power are you running on this currently? On just pump fuel, because I know you've got meth nozzles there yeah, to yeah. get, we'll, get we'll, fitted we'll, and stuff. We've got meth installed. It's not running yet, but mm -hmm. the um, on pump fuel we're running around high 600, 700 okay. brake horsepower on wastegate pressure. So that's just wastegate pressure, no boost control, that's, that's wound all the way down, so to speak. Beautiful. And for those people that are always caring not so much about the BHP, yeah. have you done any 100 to 200? Not that I recommend those you on no, private no. roads. Yeah, I haven't actually done any um, okay. any draggies yet, but okay. I'm going to say yeah, we've got to be in the fives, like, wow. I'd say in the fives, maybe and high fives. Just, just, just for comparison, guys, a stage two plus B58, I think when I was on track, I noticed I did the 100 to 200, I want to say an eight or even an, I can't remember, yeah, yeah. but it was nowhere near a five. Yeah, yeah. This thing must feel like a rocket ship. Yeah, when, it, when it's on boost, you, you know about it, like, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> so guys, let me know whether you think, come, because obviously we haven't got the best weather now, whether come summer, spring, when the roads are a bit dry, we do a full feature on this car. And obviously right now, just because I love you guys and because you're going to smash the like button if I do, we're gonna go out and experience this beast. And before we end the video, I've got to say, mate, mate, you work at Williams Performance. Mm -hmm. We can get some BMW front grills. We can get the BMW M Performance splitter for you. Like, why? <laughs> why is your car stock? Guys, this car is stock stock. No lug conversion, no blacked out side fender badges, standard mirror caps. He's got no splitter, no, he's got the chrome. Mate, are you are you just the ultimate sleeper guy? Just What's love going? This, love the sleeper look. It just surprises everyone that comes. I was going to say, really. mate, because I would see you at a traffic light, and I'd be like, "Let me show this guy how a real <laughs> S55 goes." And then, obviously, I'm going to be seeing how the back of an F80 looks in yeah, to, to be fair, very though, quick time. The only thing that gives it away is obviously the you can see the boost controller inside on the, yeah, on the dash. But other than um, that, man, other than that, it is. You could park this up at BMW approved use, and they'd just think, "Oh yeah, we've got another one car we can sit." Until you open the bonnet. That's it, or when you open the <laughs> throttle as well. <laughs> yeah, more importantly, the throttle, which, as mentioned, we're going to go and, go and see now, guys. But I just thought, yeah, before we run out, because I'm getting quite excited, because I do want to hear how this thing sounds, but it is slippery. But this guy can pedal. Like I said, follow him on Instagram, and you see what I'm talking about.